Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So today we are at BMW Autopalas Bratislava in Slovakia. Thanks for having us here today. And we will check out the all new 2023 BMW XM. And today we will check out the exterior interior infotainment system and also the sound. All right guys, so let's start with the exterior. So as you can see, this car has really extravagant and bold design. This is actually the second car entirely developed by the BMW M, which is a motorsport division by the BMW. A very nice sunshine right now is the paint of this car. And after the M1, this is the second car entirely developed by the XM. This is also the, like, like a launch spec of this vehicle. And actually i really like uh, this color combination and this is actually the bmw cape york green color and this is the metallic paint with these gold accents around the front grille and also at the side of a vehicle you can see it here the car has really like a polarizing design some people say it looks gorgeous some people say they don't like this car so let me know in the comments what do you think about the design of this vehicle for me it's really this bold extravagant design which many people will like and i can understand uh, why they would like this so in my opinion uh, it's really something what was missing on the luxury market of the performance suvs so let's see how customers will like this so far what i've heard they are really interested by the car so here we can see the xm logo in black surrounded in gold also this is like a gold you can see matte as well so really interesting as well finish the grill has this uh, like a horizontal bars so you can see it here they are in gloss black and also the front bumper is shaped in a way and uh, the color actually and also the shape it has a black inner part to look more striking more performance oriented in terms of the lights we have separated led stripes which are on the top and the main headlights are on the lower part this is also what we saw uh, with the x7 and also the 7 series so new design language for the lights for the bmw top models also the radar is pretty nicely integrated here so you can see the radar here is nicely integrated in the middle also what i like is the shape of the rear mirrors they are almost like connected here but you can see small gap here so they are not connected fully which i really think looks great and very nice sporty also we have this unique shape on the hood so you can see it here really interesting to check it out also here in the middle and bmw logo in the middle here so in my opinion really interesting and bold looking car also here we have some air curtains on the side to direct air around the front to help with the airflow aerodynamics and stuff like that so looking at the side immediately what you can see is this large setup of these wheels so let's check out close-up of these wheels these are only gold wheels which you can get you can also get a 21 22 and 23 inch these are the largest one and only gold wheels with gold accent these are also pirelli p0 tires for this particular car and the front tire size is actually hl 27535 r23 for the front and for the rear we should have a wider tires as it's always the case with primarily real drive cars so here we have 315 30 23 so wider at the rear for better traction also let's check out this large bmw lettering here in the middle of a wheel and also these m brakes with m logo these are with black uh, brake calipers also smaller m logo here very nice detail and you can see the shape of the wheels really bold looking wheels together with the car they look very cool i have to say and with this gold i would probably go also for the gold wheels and we have more sunshine now let me know what you think uh, about the 
color choice which one would you go for let me know in the comment section down below also what you can see immediately is this black cladding around the wheel arches so these are actually in gloss black and also on the side it slopes like upwards towards the back to give the car more this aerodynamic more sporty design for sure so let me know what you think about that as well so thanks to that the car looks more like a lighter sort of lighter on the, on its feet we can say all right so now let's check out the back this is also pretty bold looking excuse the lights flickering on the camera they are not flickering on the in person also you can see three stripes over there one thing what is really something uh, what differentiates from other cars is this exhaust which has like a stacked uh, on each side so we can see that the exhaust is like stacked on top of each other on each side which gives this really unique look let me know what you think about that so it's stacked and also like an angular different shape on top and also on the bottom also we have some gold over the rear diffuser and we have two fins on each part of the diffuser the number plate here is in green because this is a plug-in hybrid also here we have the XM logo in black surrounded by the gold and here you can see without the flickering the tail lamps how they look they are like a geometric as well extent outside of the bodywork let me know what you think about that as well I find this design really futuristic really something like concept almost so I appreciate BMW doing uh, both stuff let's see what the customer will say about that also we have something unique here and that's BMW logo in each corner I think this is a sticker but uh, yeah I think it looks really interesting as well also like aerodynamic sloping over here you can see to help with the airflow as well and also here we have antennas so here we have the car without the sunshine a little bit more dark uh, this Cape York green and also we have here the XM logo this time is in gold with black surrounding and this gold accent let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below so definitely everything uh, all gold accents go well together you can see the shape of this here and a very very bold design for sure so as you can see in terms of the shape it's sloping just a little bit towards the back but it's not a coupe and uh, this is a suv vehicle but let me know how do you like this design as well the c pillar is actually ginormous here you can see so the pillar here is actually really ginormous so giving this car even more extravagant and bold design also here we have these three stripes from the side all right guys so now it's time to check out the engine bay so here just pull twice okay bonnet open that was on the display so now we can lift it in terms of the setup here we have 4.4 liter v8 wind turbo engine with plug-in hybrid system so together it develops 653 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque pound feet of torque you can find on the screen the acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes 4.3 seconds up to 60 miles per hour 4.1 second check out here the m logo and also carbon fiber and this is like a red to show you the v8 setup these red accents also you can see this orange setup for the plug-in hybrid and you can charge the plug-in hybrid here on the side uh, where is the driver door you can see here the setup so in terms of the range you should have around 80 kilometers 
on full charge about 50 miles. So there is also available XM red label, more powerful version than this one and also the XM50E which is less powerful than the XM. This one is like a middle in terms of the power. Alright, so now we can close the bonnet, the hood. Alright guys, so now it's time to check out the boot space. Also, let's check out the LEDs without the flickering. Okay, very thin stripes actually. Let's know how to like this. Alright guys, so now let's open the boot and check out the cargo capacity. So the boot is electric, of course. And check out this gorgeous bag in the back with XM logo in gold. And this like a leather slash cloth material, gold zipper. Let's check out what is actually here. I think it's connected here. Let's check out with the belt. So here probably is what I think here is. And yes, that's what I thought. The charging cables, cables really nicely tucked away here in this bag. Very, very cool actually to see this implementation. I don't think I've seen this with other cars. So the cargo capacity is 527 liters, that's 18.6 cubic feet, and you can fold the rear seats 40, 20, 40. And here we have also this parcel shelf, so you can store some stuff here and also the speaker here. So really nice implementation of the boot, I have to say. Also here, if you may remove this, you can see uh, cables, also for the towing, some accessories. And you can put this back here like this. Also here on this side you can see 12 volt socket. And here on this side we have fuses for the fuse box. And also this one is for the tow hook. So you can tow with the car. So many uh, new electronics in the new cars. It's crazy. What I really like is this. That it will not fly around the car. It's very nicely tucked away here in the corner. You can also put it like this very very smart to do this with the charging cables you cannot open uh, the boot you cannot lift the boot floor i think that's because we have uh, batteries uh, there for the plug-in hybrid system also some interesting also what is interesting is this geometric shape what is in the roof also here on the inside of the tailgate really smart and cool looking together with the lights as together with the lights as well so now we can close the wood all right guys so now let's check out the interior we have also the soft close for the doors and this gorgeous interior in two-tone if you hop inside i will tell you the exact color and names of this two-tone interior look at this Absolutely gorgeous. This is like a sort of turquoise color and brown one. Looks absolutely stunning. And also the geometric roof with ambient lighting and XM logos. Check it out. Let me know in the comments your first impression about the interior. Also the curved display here. Alright, so now let's check out the interior. As you can see, we have brand new interior for a brand new BMW XM. And here you can see the digital cockpit. BMW M steering wheel with M logo in black color. Also uh, leather, merino leather on the steering wheel with stitching uh, of the airbag. And this interior is actually merino leather. And uh, if you are wondering what is the name of this color combination, this is the Deep Lagoon, this sort of uh, green blue color and this brown one is vintage coffee so really interesting uh, color combination in my opinion i don't think i've seen something like this before so i'm not really sure if i would get it for myself uh, but i think it looks really great uh, this color and i have i really have to say that i like this so like a deep turquoise i think this is a good explanation of this uh, color and this one is like a you can see not straightforward brown, but it has this interesting texture. Really, really cool. And also here you can see these like a microfiber material on the top, also on the pillars. Uh, in terms of the hi-fi, we have a Bowers and Wilkins hi-fi system. You can see speakers just about everywhere. Also the ambient lighting. 
And in terms of the trim, we have here the carbon fiber, so you can see it here. Looks really great. Also here in the middle console. So really wonderfully looking car. Alright, so let's wake up here the screens with a press of a button, start stop in red color. Okay, so you can see here welcome screen and this display is actually curved as you can see here from the top. It has a slight like curvature. So I think it's uh, better to read from the display as well. Let me know how do you like this in the comment section down below. So here on the left side you can find the buttons to lock the car and unlock. Also here we have buttons for the windows. I'm not gonna open it now because it was raining. Also here we have button to open the tailgate, button to control the passenger seat. So if you control your seat, passenger one should move here with the controls on the side of a seat. Then we have a seat uh, controls. So here we have a back massage, shoulder, shoulder massage, and you can change this as well here. Then we have memory seats for two positions, and also you can fold the mirrors here. And also you can set the mirrors here as well. And here we have buttons to control the lights, auto, you can turn off, then we have the main headlights, parking lights, rear fog light, and here you control the brightness uh, of uh, infotainment with this wheel. Also here you can see the straps for the ambient lighting and these geometric patterns. I think it looks really great. Here is a, a projector, heads up display, and overall vibe of this car is really like a futuristic. You can see that this cockpit is, is like a curvature around here, which ends basically here. And the passenger has mainly this uh, leather in front of him, also the M logo here. So the middle tunnel is wrapped in leather as well. So here we have the glove compartment, you can close this with the key fob as well. With the blade from the key fob and it's pretty large as well. So here in the middle you have volume knob. Uh, for the tracks to skip, hazard lights, maximum defrost, and also the rear defrost. Also we can see the ambient stripes in the middle. And here underneath we have uh, two cup holders. Here is the key fob actually, in the key fob uh, pouch. Alright, so here is the key fob in the leather pouch. I really couldn't uh, take it out because the uh, pouch is brand new, so it's a little bit stuck there, even though I pulled this tab, uh, but uh, if you have this car it will not be an issue if you take it out regularly. So you can actually close the car here with the, pressing the BMW logo. You can open it here. Uh, with this one you open the tailgate. This one I think it's some sort of a favorite button. I'm not actually sure. Let me know in the comment section if you know. And also here is like a red accent uh, as well. So really nice and premium feeling key fob for sure. And as well the leather pouch. Next we have the cup holders. These are actually adjustable. So you can see, you can adjust them, also you can uh, cool them and also if you press one more time you can heat. Uh, so that's useful. Also here we have the 12 volt socket if you need to use this. So there's also a possibility. Then we have the USB-A port actually. And here I believe is wireless charging for your phone as well. And if you want to close it, you just pull here like this. So here we have actually the shifter with M logo embossed and three color stitching, which is also present here in the seat belts, which I think it's a nice detail. Then we have the traction control button, uh, the cameras, parking, start stop, setup, M mode, M hybrid, uh, exhaust button, uh, auto, I, I assume this is auto hold. And I think this is a hill descent control. And you can see here that you need to press towards the left and up to have a reverse and then a right to have the right or drive or sport as well. And here we have a wheel which you control with the infotainment system. So now we have everything in comfort. As you can see steering brakes, so you can change this as well. For example, you can see the setup also if you press M1. You can see here that uh, we have set up the drivetrain for the Sport Plus. Then M Hybrid, we have it on Hybrid. Transmission, we have S3. Energy recovery, maximum, chassis, Sport Plus. Steering, 
sport brake sport dsc we can leave it on on and four wheel drive and m sound we can have on on as well and m2 you can configure in a different way as well so you can change these things up so now if i press m1 it should change the configuration as you can see now it changed up the configuration if i press one more time it goes back to initial settings so it works like that so if you start the car it will actually start in the electric mode so let's start it up and the car has this like uh, electric sound we can say this uh, yeah this invitation sound then if you want to turn then if you want to turn on the engine you can actually do that by changing the mode or pressing here on the M1 and this powers up the engine so you can actually if you have M1 configured in most sporty way you can turn on the engine just by pressing the M1 so check it out I will press the M1 and check out what will happen with the RPMs so the car starts it the iced engine and if you want to shut it down just press M1 once again in terms of the AC here we have the minus and plus so you can decrease or increase and if you press in the middle you have climate menu so you can turn on the steering wheel heating also seats seat heating seat ventilation this is the AC you can change it on low very low and more this one is for the balance in terms of the AC and this one is for the passenger all settings as well also then we have AC max AC and sync both temperatures here we have also auto air recirculation so we can have a fresh air automatic air recirculation and air recirculation as well also here we have the media home map navigation and telephone option and back I think you can also write on this like letters and stuff like that so here on the steering wheel you can control a uh, few things also check out these pedal shifters from carbon fiber really great also we have here the m1 and m2 buttons and with this you control the voice and also you can scroll here we have some settings for the cruise control i believe here we have the stock for the lights as well as well for the blinkers as you can see here and in terms of the wipers you have a right stock uh, here as well so i think you can use this this one is actually for the rear and up is actually the front one the pedal shifters are actually stuck with the steering wheel so they're not fixed on the column just so you know and the steering wheel itself is wide here at 3 and 9 o'clock or more we can say at 10 and 2 o'clock also stitching from the inside three colors for the BMW you can see it also here nicely the stitching and M logo here in black actually also the inner part and also here we have this like a dark chrome sort of glossy black but more like a little bit dark chrome I would say so in the doors we have a large door pocket for a large bottle you can also open the fuel tank here and also some door pockets as well for the storage and here we have the door handle if you want to open the doors just pull here and on the top we have a handle here speaker next to your head also this beautiful ambient lighting on the roof which we will check out the roof is actually geometric and we have also the sun visor here with the mirror and light as well very nice and soft and in the middle we have a lights so you can turn on only one side if you want it has these nice geometric shapes also we have SOS button here and this blue this blue lagoon looks really great this geometric is really like 3d the shape of the roof is not like optical illusion so it's really shaped uh, as a 3d 
here is basically the driver's cockpit. So in terms of the pedals, here we have these aluminum and also rubber pedals. And you need to pull twice to open the hood. So now we can start the car. So foot on the brake and start it. So now it starts in a hybrid mode. So uh, we are in the electric mode, you can see it here, electric. And we have electric, max comfort, 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 everything is in comfort. Also for wheel drive system is turn it on. Here we have uh, how much you have uh, petrol in the tank and also how much charge you have on this side. And uh, yeah, really great looking uh, display. Here we have temperature, also how much kilometers you have left. In terms of the middle display, here we have the latest iDrive system. If you press here, you will get also here we have the uh, for the AC, the air vents. I will just move them down. You can also like turn them to close them. They are nicely integrated uh, into the design of the vehicle. And here you can see the menu. So you have light vehicle, system settings, inter lighting, BMW assistance, passenger airbag. I will just turn this off so it doesn't interfere with the microphone. Uh, automatic habits, BMW messages, country information, digital key, uh, drive recorder, messages. Then we have the personal hotspot, your service partner, climate control displays, doors and windows, driving settings, external lighting, parking, vehicle status. So we can check out here the ambient lighting. So here we have the colors available. So we have here, for example, all right, so this is the brightness. So if I turn this off, it will be much less visible. And you can see it here, how it brightens up. So we will check the colors. So here we have the ivory, looks like uh, in this color. Let's check it out on the roof. It looks really futuristic. Also, we can see it here. Then we have the citrine, which is this like a lime sort of lime green. You can also see it here. And then we have the gold. Looks basically like a, like a gold color. You can also see it here, for example. Then we have the lime, but it's not uh, in the front, it's not as visible like in the new 7 series, uh, basically, that we have a very large and thick ambient stripe. So here we have the emerald, this vibrant green. Now we can check out different color. So this one is the turquoise. I think I really like this one. Also, it fits the interesting. Check it out. One of my favorites for sure. Then we have the pearl. This one is like almost like white, but a little bit purple. A little bit this sort of purple-ish color. And then we have the azure, also cool color as well. I really like the blue blue shades for the ambient lighting. And then we have ocean. Changes like this. Let's check out now indigo. So even more saturated blue color. Then we can check out lavender. More of uh, purple, but really, really nice shades actually for the lavender as well. Then we have flamingo. This one is like uh, pink. Also cool with, the, I think it goes well with this blue lagoon leather. Then let's check out papaya. I think also this one will, will go well with this leather. Then we have the coral. This one is also really cool. So I think this leather and also the roof goes well with different colors. And the last one is rose. I think girls will love this. Also looks really cool for the ladies. So my favorite would be, and we will leave it for now, on the indigo. Or we can go and leave the azure. Yes, 
let's leave it for this. So then you can have reduced for night driving, which I think is really useful, lightning events and feedback, feedback via the, then we have feedback via the steering wheel, vibration intensity, lightning elements and steering wheel impulse. Uh, also written like you can also configure this. So this car has so many settings, you can see live vehicle, so values you can see here and, oh okay, you can also change angle and check out your car from the interior. Very cool actually, I think I really like this infotainment for the uh, BMW. Then we have uh, basic stuff like telephone, navigation, let's check out the navigation, how it looks. Always if you zoom out, zoom in, it takes a little bit, uh, almost in every car I would say, because it needs to read data, also live information about the charging, uh, etc. But uh, yeah, I think it's... Uh, uh, cool navigation as well. You can also see it here. Also here we have these like widgets. You can see setup, media, telephone. So you can have it also like this, which I think is also really cool. Tires, you have information and temperature of each tire. Drive terrain information. Values since last refuel. And a bunch of different settings. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Radio, News, Seat, Comfort. Then we have Weather, News, System setting, digital key, drive recorder, so you can record the drive as well. So I think this is also pretty cool. Recording vehicle, recording on the USB, also really useful stuff. Then we have displays, for example. So we have head-up display settings, so we can check it out. So you can see, we can change the height. Also the rotation, so it can be rotated, also interesting. I don't think I would change the rotation, but let me know if you would do that. Then we have brightness, this is at maximum right now, so at 10 you can lower this. Also you can change the brightness, right now it's on maximum brightness. Then we have display location for uh, lists, messages, emote, road, configuration, speed limit assist, and distance information. All right, so in terms of the driving modes, here we have the M mode. So if you press this one, you can see road or sport. So you can pick from these. And also we have M hybrid. So you can have hybrid electric or the e-control mode. And here we have M1 button and M2, so you can configure these how you want. Also, let's check out here the cameras. So here you can see the cameras, very high definition actually. So you can see here parking view. And here we have a side. Also cool animation. Then here we have this side. You can have an automatic front. And also you can have it like this. Then park assist, so it can park how you want. Panorama view of the front uh, as well. And here we have more. So you can see trailer, coupling view, car wash view and settings. All right, now let's check out the seats. You can see the XM logo here, the Merino. The seats are actually very nicely shaped. I think they have a very cool design. This is actually very soft, the seat. Backrest, a little bit more firm, but not definitely not that comfortable. The car is really comfortable to sit in. Uh, the seats are really like a plush, but also supportive, like a good balance for the SUV. You don't want uh, too hardcore of a seats. So this is definitely a, a good balance between the sportiness and uh, comfort. All right, guys, so let's check out the back seats. They're really nicely looking interior. Let's hop inside because it's uh, raining. M lounge, so let's check it out. Soft close for the doors. And look at this space. Absolutely gorgeous. You have also these plush pillows. So these are actually with M stitching. They're really nice pillows. So in terms of the legroom, I have plenty of legroom as you can see. Check out how much is that in inches but I would say uh, it's, a, it's a lot of space. Also I can fit my uh, feet underneath the front seat. The seat is set up how, how I would drive more or less 
maybe a little bit different uh, because I didn't spend too much time around it but you can see definitely a lot of leg, leg room also some storage space here and here check out we have actually USB-C port really interesting I think this is uh, to connect maybe screens I'm not actually sure but uh, I think it looks like that actually so really really cool to check this out you can also open it partially only to charge your device also ambient lighting present here in the doors with strap and also around the handle speakers really nice Bowers and Wilkins top level uh, sound also some space here in the doors and also windows and this beautiful stitching so this rear is actually called the M lounge so you can see that the backrest is actually extended here into the doors to uh, show you this unconventional look which they want you to do so this is not really something I seen before so I really think this is interesting let's put the pillows uh, at the side so here as you can see without the pillows how it looks also you can see here the icons for the isofix so I think uh, yes here underneath you can see some fixed points for the isofix Also, you can put this back, I believe, like this. You can actually put this back. Okay, so like this to tuck it away, so it's nicely tucked away. Also, in the middle, here we can find the armrest, which has uh, adaptive cup holders and uh, it's wide for two arms. So yeah, here for the wide view you can see in the M lounge. So the backrest extends like in the doors with the stitching and it shows this like a cozy vibe of the rear. And I think this is really something what I what I didn't see at the other cars. And really cool actually, super like a plush, really comfortable. And this looks really cozy that it extends like from the doors or to the doors. Also M stitching as well. And two color combination, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And it looks better in person than uh, on the photos uh, for sure. But now looking at this, I think it looks really great and it suits the car uh, really nicely also with this pattern on the roof. So you can see it has really like a 3D shape. It's not optical illusion. It's really 3D shape uh, of a roof. Also ambient lighting like tuck here. Uh, really interesting this and uh, in a good way very very cool uh, in my opinion all right and here is how the front looks from the rear looks really cool let you know what you think in the comment section down below and here is also the wide angle so you can see also with illumination this is basically how the rear passenger is seeing the whole front of the vehicle i think it's really impressive and uh, really cool looking also here you can see the controls for the ac for the rear passengers and some storage space and also here you can see two USB-C ports and 12 volt socket all right guys so that's it from the XM review let me know in the comment section down below how do you like the new XM don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day